Hello children, welcome to AIMS India's online classes. So we are discussing previous year multiple choice questions from the chapter pictorial representation. Starting with the first question for today. Traffic police conducts the survey on the dress code of total number of students in a city and obtains the following information. If one star represents thousand students, then how many students are there in the city? So what is this? He has conducted a survey. Survey is nothing but where we ask questions and the other people give us answers. So from the survey, what did our police find out? This is the piece of information. Now here one star is equal to thousand students. Now how many students are there in the city? So for this what should we do children? We should count the total number of stars. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. In total there are 10 stars. So each star represents thousand students. So the total number of students will be equal to 10 into 1000 that is nothing but 10,000 students. Yes or no children? For such type of questions count the total number of stars or any other picture that is given. Now for the total you have to multiply that number with how much does one picture represent. So in the city there were a total of 10,000 students that is our option D. Now question 21, a line is divided into 6 equal parts, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Yes, it is divided into 6 equal parts. If the length of one division is equivalent to 1000, one division, this one division, what is the length here? It is 1000. Not only this, every division that we take, the length of each division is equal to 1000. Now what should we do children? 1000 kilometers, it is 1000 kilometers. So what should we do? What is the total distance between the start and end points? Now this is our starting point and this is our ending point. Now see children, this is a line here, we are having an arrow mark. That means it can extend here continuously. Yes. So that is why that will not be our end point. This is our end point as we have divided the line till here. So this will be our end point and this will be our starting point. Now we need to calculate the total distance here. So how many divisions do we have in between? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. In total we are having 6 divisions. So what will be the distance children? 6 into 1000 kilometers. Yes, each division is equal to 1000 kilometers. So there are 6 divisions. That is why the total distance becomes 6 into 1000 that is equal to 6000 kilometers. Yes or no? So our answer is option C 6000 kilometers. Now question 22, at a parking, a board shows the following information. Now yes, so here what is the scale? Scale is nothing but, see here one car is equal to 500 number of vehicles. So that is called as scale. So one picture is representing what number? One picture is representing what number in actuality or in reality? Yes. So that will be our scale children. Now what is the strength of the parking place? The strength, the strength is nothing but the total capacity or see strength here that means we are finding out the total number. What did I say? To find out the total number you have to count all the pictures 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8. We are having 8 pictures. Now how much does each picture represent? It represents 500 vehicles. It represents 500 vehicles. Each, each car represents 500 vehicles. So there are 8 cars. The total will be 500 into 8. 8 zeros are 0. 8 zeros are 0. 8 fives are 40. So the total strength of our parking place is nothing but 4000. What is the strength of the parking place children? 4000 that is our option A.
I hope this is clear. Count the total number of cars and then multiply it with the number it is representing. So each car is equal to 500. So 8 into 500 equals 4000 vehicles. Next 23. Consider the following statements. Statement 1. Pictograph is the numerical representation of data. Statement 2. Pictograph is the graphical representation of data. Now which of the following options is correct above the, about the above statements? Now if you consider both the statements here. What is this? What is the statement 1? It says that pictograph is the numerical representation. As we have learned already, what is a pictograph? This is a pictograph. This is an example of a pictograph. Now here is the information displayed in numbers using numbers. No, it is displayed or represented using pictures. So the first statement that is pictograph is the numerical representation becomes false. Statement 1 becomes false. Now coming to statement 2 here. Pictograph is the graphical representation. Yes, pictograph. Picto is picture and graph here is nothing but the graphical representation of data. So, what does our statement 2, two become still in? It becomes a true. Statement 1 will be false and statement 2 is true. That is our option B. 1 is false and 2 is true. Now, question 23. Curved line represents curved path and straight line represents a straight path. Now dotted line on the map represents of which on one of the following if the following information is given on the map. Now this piece of information is given on the map children. Okay. Now they are asking us to find out about the dotted line. Which is the dotted line here? This one. Yes, it is in the form of a dot. Dot, dot, dot. This is our dotted line. Now, this dotted line is representing what? What is on the left side of the dotted line? We are having an aeroplane. So, the dotted line represents the path of the aeroplane. Is this clear? Dotted line here represents path of aeroplane. So, option A is our correct answer. Question 25. The picture table below shows the number of students who were absent in a day of a particular week. Now, on which day maximum number of students were absent? Maximum means we have to find out the highest. Just by looking at this table, children, where can you find out the maximum that is the highest number of smileys on Friday. On Friday we can see that the number of smileys are the most. So on Friday the number of students who were absent was maximum. Yes. So our answer becomes option B. It's just we have to observe and find out the one with the highest absentees. The question 26. The graph shows the number of bookmarks each student made. Now, how many more bookmarks did Namita make than Sona? We have to compare the two students. Who are they? Namita and Sona. Now, how many bookmarks did Namita make? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So, 11 into the important point here is each picture represents two bookmarks. So, 11 into 2 that is equal to... 22. Our Namita made 22 bookmarks. Now who is the other person we want about Sona? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Sona made 7 into 2. See it represents 2 bookmarks. So 7 into 2, 14. Now we need to find out how many more did she make. So we should find out the difference. 22 minus 14. 12 minus 4, 8, 1 minus 1, 0. So, our Namita made how many more bookmarks than Sona? The correct answer is option A, 8. Namita made 8 more bookmarks than Sona. 
क्वेश्चन ट्वेंटी सिक्स सॉरी क्वेश्चन ट्वेंटी सेवन द पिक्चर टेबल शोज द नंबर ऑफ चिल्ड्रन हु केम टू द स्टोरी आवर ईच वीक न हाउ मेनी चिल्ड्रन केम टू द स्टोरी आवर इन वीक फोर सो दिस इज द वीक्स वीक वन वीक टू वीक थ्री वीक फोर वीक फाइव वॉट आर वी कंसर्न हियर वी आर कंसर्न अबाउट द वीक फोर सो दिस इज अवर वीक फोर यस सो हाउ मेनी चिल्ड्रन आर देयर चिल्ड्रन वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव वी हैविंग फाइव चिल्ड्रन हियर एंड अगेन वॉट इज द इम्पॉर्टेंट थिंग Each picture represents three children. So we are having five pictures. So five into three is equal to fifteen. Each represents three children. So we have to count the number of pictures by three. Multiply the number of pictures by three. Five into three, fifteen. So the table, according to the table. Fifteen students came to the story hour on week four. In week four, sorry, option B, fifteen is our correct answer. Question twenty six. Mr. Gupta has a toy shop. His total sale of last week is shown as is as shown in the given table. Now, which day has a sale of exactly twenty toys? now from this table we have to find out the day on which our gupta has sold exactly 20 toys now if you look at the bottom of the table each picture represents 10 toys each picture represents 10 toys so for 20 toys how many pictures will be there children 20 divided by 10 10 to the 20 Yes, so that means for twenty toys we'll be having two pictures. So let us see all the days: Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Here on Friday we are having exactly two pictures. So what does these two pictures represent? Each equals ten toys. We are having two. So two into ten is equal to twenty toys. On Friday. The sale was exactly twenty toys. So option B, Friday becomes our correct answer. Yes. Question twenty nine. The picture table below shows the number of students who are absent in a day of a particular week. What is the total number of students who were absent in the week? The total number of students who were absent in the week. so that means we have to count the total number of absentees 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 we are having 15 smileys here we are having 15 smileys now each smiley means how much children one student so 15 into 1 is equal to 15 So the total number of students who were absent in the entire week was fifteen. That is our option B. Question thirty: Fruit seller purchased some fruits from a wholesale merchant. Merchant is nothing but a seller. Okay, seller. Now the number of fruits he bought is shown below in the following picture table. Read the table and answer the following question. So here we have the fruit name. and then we have the number of fruits he has bought of one kind now how many apples the fruit seller bought we are concerned about the number of apples so we have to count the number of apples 1 2 3 4 5 6 6 six apples so option b 6 becomes our correct answer yes so here it's not mentioned or given anywhere that one apple here is equal to 2 Yes, one picture is equal to two or something. So we'll just count the number of pictures and take it as our final answer. Now, how many apples did our fruit seller buy, children? He bought six apples. Now, question thirty-one. The bar graph shows the time taken by six competitors to run a two hundred meters game. Who completed? Completed. Who completed the race? Before Ali, but after Jatin. Ali, 
जतिन बिफोर अली दिस इज द लाइन ऑफ अली एंड दिस इज द लाइन ऑफ जतिन यस और नो सो इन बिटवीन वॉट डू वी वॉन्ट वी वॉन्ट सम वन हु हैज कंप्लीटेड द रेज इन बिटवीन अवर अली एंड जतिन यस दिस इज अवर अली एंड दिस इज अवर जतिन नाउ लुक चिल्ड्रन whose bar is falling in between these two lens here we have this bar now whom does this belong to it belongs to viraj so viraj is the person who completed the race before ali but after jatin before ali but after jatin so our correct answer is option c viraj now next question 32 The given table shows the total meals in a postman's bag. Now study the following table and carefully answer this following question. So our do you know a postman who is a postman? Yes, one who collects the letters and then delivers the letters to their correct address. Now our postman is having different types of letters. Yes. so we he is having postcards greeting cards letters registered letters and also envelopes which kind of the mail is the maximum again what does the maximum mean maximum means we have to find out the one that is highest so for that we can if possible this is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 okay children the first one we are having five postcards so if you want to find out the maximum which kind of mail is the maximum one is you can do it directly so this is the 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 they are having he is having six postcards in his bag okay one is just by looking at the table see in which row or for which type of mail we are having the most number of pictures by seeing itself we can say that the number of postcards are the maximum or the highest so option a postcard becomes our correct answer else you can count each type of mail individually six postcards one two three greeting letters four letters two registered letters and five envelopes now see even if you look at the number countings postcards is having the maximum count so postcards becomes our correct answer for this given question the question 33 the picture graph below shows the number of sweaters ordered in each size in one week now how many sweaters of small size were ordered what do we want children we want the number of sweaters of small size size is small how many were ordered 1 2 3 4 5 we having five pictures here yes so were five sweaters ordered of small size no if you look at the bottom line each picture equals three sweaters so we have to multiply this by 3 5 into 3 is equal to 15 so in total 15 sweaters were ordered of small size is this clear children in total 15 sweaters were ordered of the small size so option b 15 becomes our correct answer yes now question 34 and the last this is the last question from our chapter pictorial representation the graph shows the number of bookmarks each student made yes again we are having the list names of the students and how many bookmarks they made now who made the highest number of bookmarks again children we want the one with the highest number yes again by looking itself we can say that namita is having the highest number of bookmarks else we can count 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 okay now this is 
just the number of pictures here we are having 11 6 10 7 just by looking at these we can say that namita is has made the highest number of bookmarks if you want if you want as each picture represents two bookmarks you can multiply them by two and then check your answer 11 2s are 22 6 2s are 12 10 2s are 20 7 2s are 14 See, either ways, our Namita has made the highest number of bookmarks. Okay, children, so to find out the one who has made the highest number, it's actually we do not even need to multiply. Just by counting the pictures, we can say that Namita has made the highest number of bookmarks. So, option A, Namita becomes the correct answer for this particular question. Yes, I hope this is clear. With this, we've come to the end of all multiple choice questions from our chapter Pictorial Representation. Yes, children? Please visit our website www.aimstoday.in for other information regarding online classes, quizzes, live worksheets, DIY activities, English classes and coding. Thank you for watching our video. Please subscribe our channel and press the bell icon for receiving latest updates.